Okay guys, here we go. We're safe, we're inside. As you saw, it is unbelievably windy outside today. Where I am is just off of a quarry outside and this property is just on the outskirts of, on the outside of the quarry. And the wind coming over that big pit is unbelievable. So anyways, guys, here we go. Thanks for joining another Freaktography Abandoned Adventure. Today, guys, we're checking out a abandoned 1970s style bungalow. Super duper 70s decorating and style in here. And it still has power, which is the real, really weird thing because the house is the dump. And as you can see, there's a light on. And I'm breathing very uh, shallow here because there's a lot of black mold up there. But uh, yeah, you guys are gonna really like this one. Not gonna be a very long video. It'll be mostly uh, a short tour. There's your old style kitchen table. Yeah, we're just gonna keep it short. There's not a whole lot to see, but it's just interesting enough to warrant doing a video. So let's, uh, let's get, just, just get right to it, guys. Probably the coolest feature in the house is this right here, this old stove and oven. It's a tap, tappin, tappin brand right there. Is that what that says? Tappin, tapan, tappin, tapan. I don't know. Super nice. And then there's an old rusty stove top here with, with your dials right there for it. Here's a look outside. It is so windy, I can't believe it. Holy cow, guys. Lots of peeling paint coming off of the ceiling here. Some really interesting 70s style decor. You've got these pink tiles here on the wall. Right here as well. Red carpeting. So we'll take a walk to the front of the house. It's actually a pretty big house. The living room is really nice. Again, you've got this red carpet and the door with that very reminiscent of the 60s and 70s and 80s style front door. Got some crown molding going around the ceiling there. And then you've got this nice fireplace right here in the, in the end of the wall here. Move on back through the kitchen, and there's a few bedrooms back here. Single bed? That's an old bed. <laughs> looks like Dad made it in the garage. All the beds look like that. This one's different with the big posts on it. Curious to know what that would have looked like when they were using it and what would have gone on top. Look at this. Wow, can you guys see that? I don't have my lights today. Wow. Love the bathroom. Nice, great, big, giant mirror wall to wall. What's up, guys? Poor little bird. Made it in, couldn't get his way out. It's always sad to see. My favorite is always when the shower curtains are remaining. Shower curtains are normal when you live in a house, but they're very creepy when the house is abandoned. Do you agree? 
And then check out this ceiling here. It's got these lights that kind of go around, but then it's got this like opening. I don't know what you would call that, but it's pretty weird. What's up guys? I did mention to you guys that there's power in here so we can turn the lights on. Who's paying the electricity? How is it abandoned if it has power? And then another bedroom here. Same kind of bed. Super retro looking end table here. And then we got a calendar, 2012. So this house was last lived in about 10 years ago. We'll go check out the basement. I'm gonna have to grab my flashlight for the basement. Flashlight. So guys, since I have to grab my flashlight, I do have a brand new flashlight, fresh out of the box, not even used yet, sent to me by my good friends at Thrunite. It is the Thrunite TT20 tactical flashlight. Look at this, is this not a sexy looking flashlight? Look at that, that, it's, it's durable, it's nice and, nice and solid, feel that? Hear that I mean? Nice and solid, it's got a nice bright beam, Guys, this flashlight's gonna flashlight up to 2,500 lumens. That's a good bright flashlight. It's really solid. That's one of the things I like in the flashlights that I'm sent, that I'm able to try, is the durability and how solid they are. So let's take this uh, through night TT20 flashlight and we'll take it for a run down into the basement. Let's go see how she does. Now, yes, there is power up here, so we don't need it up here, but it is dark once we get downstairs. So let's go. It's got a super nice bright light. Now, like I do say, not all flashlights work for doing videos. So for this flashlight, I don't necessarily think it would be useful for filming videos, but it's really bright. This is excellent for using outside, hiking, camping, doing work around the house. If needed, you can put this clip on your, uh, on your hat if you need to, right there. So you've got a headlamp, if you like. Oh, we got here, a messy room. <clears throat> Anyways, super impressed with how bright this flashlight is. So I'm just gonna use it uh, through the video here and then uh, you guys know what to do. Through Night always gives me a link to include in the video description. If you guys like this light and you wanna pick it up, Hit the link in the video description to pick yourselves up this Thrunite TT20 Tactical Everyday Carry Flashlight. So. Ah. All right, don't quite need the light in this part because, well, there's light on in here. And there's random shower. Oh, okay. Oh, there's another room down here with a bed in it. Check out this wall. Wow. <laughs> Some random bed down here. Oh, it's like, a, it's like a rec room. There's a fireplace down here. All right. Air's not so great down here. Not really crazy about being down here at this point. <laughs> 